Windlink has finally come to the iPhone. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are like me, but I've been waiting for Winlink to come to the iPhone for a long time, and finally it has arrived. I've been beta testing this in a closed beta for about the last two months or so, and it's finally out in an open beta. So I'm going to leave you guys a link in the description below to the website for this where you can get in on the beta. But let's go ahead and take a look at this app. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's jump over to the phone and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so when you first open up the application, this is the screen that you will be presented with. We'll want to go up to settings first and take a quick peek at those. Inside the settings is where we can uh, set up things like our call sign and our password for WinLink. You can also uh, check out automatic fetch. So this will actually download messages in the background. You've got uh, exporting and importing of messages just in case you want to remove the app from your phone. Uh, it will even auto delete messages. I've got that set to never, but uh, you might want to use something different there. Uh, stations directory, we can go ahead and click on that and it'll tell you uh, when the last station directory has been downloaded. So you can see mine was refreshed uh, an hour ago. Uh, I do have automatic refresh uh, turned on for that and you can go ahead and click refresh now. Now, uh, one of the newer features that I haven't had a chance to play with yet is uh, Arden Mesh Stations. So apparently if there's a post office on a Arden network and you're connected to an Arden network, it will automatically pull in those post offices. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this screen and take us back to the settings. Now you'll also notice that uh, we've got options for VARA FM and VARA HF. You can't do that direct uh, from the phone completely. The way that works is you need to have uh, VARA set up and running on another computer that's on the same network as your phone, and then you can uh, control those. It was a bit tricky to get set up, but I did successfully make a VARA FM connection over the network when VARA was running on my Raspberry Pi. I didn't try the HF, but the FM did work fairly well. Now, the next one down you'll see is the KISS TNC modem, and I am currently using the TNC3 uh, MobiLint. Uh, it will uh, choose your location automatically if you turn on that option. And then the last one here is about radio mail. So we can write a review. It tells you what version we're currently running and a few other things. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the way back out of the settings and we'll go ahead and take a look next at the station list. Now it's pretty cool because it will filter stations based on your current location provided you have that turned on. You can turn off the uh, filter by proximity right over there with uh, the little blue button. You'll see that that has disappeared now, but I like to leave that on so I know what stations are closest to me when I'm out and about. Now, if we come down and click on one of those, it will give you a map. And I am going to have to rotate the phone here so we can see all of the details. But it does give us a map so we can see exactly where the um, repeater or the gateway is located. We can remove it from the favorites or add it if the, uh, that was the case. And it also lets us know that both Packet and Vara FM is available on this gateway. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose a different one for now just so you can kind of get a look at this. Uh, you can see there now that instead of remove from favorites, I can click add to favorites. So we'll go ahead and add KN4CCQ to my favorite list for right now. And you can see he's offering three different modes, Packet, Vara FM, and Vara HF. Let's go ahead and get out of the station, uh, out of that particular station. One other thing you can do is if you swipe to the right, you can actually click there and add uh, a particular gateway to your favorites list. So one other option there to set a station as a favorite. 
Now, in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see the Compose button. So if you wanted to send an email, you can click on it. We'll go ahead and send a message to test. Uh, if you send a message to test inside of WinLink, uh, the net message will just get returned to you. So that's an easy way uh, if you need to test your system uh, to get a message sent out and then have that message delivered back to you. One other cool feature, he does have uh, built-in attachments. And one of the awesome things about it, you can choose a photo from your library or you can take a photo and it will automatically downsize that image and optimize it for transmitting through the WinLink system. So let's just go ahead and click take a photo and I'll take a quick photo here of the ground that I'm looking at and we'll just say use that photo. And you can see that's probably a four or five megabyte image on my phone and it's got that compressed down to 27 kilobits. Now I'm not going to actually attach it for this test. I just wanted you guys to see that it will automatically downsize those images. Now if we click the blue up arrow over in the top right hand corner that'll go ahead and post that message to our outbox. And we didn't have the outbox before because we didn't have any outgoing messages. But as soon as you have an outgoing message, it will show up right there in line with your other folders. Now, in order to send a message, we're going to click the envelope down in the bottom left-hand corner. And this is where we can choose how we want to send that message. So I'm going to click on Favorites. You'll see right there we've got the KN4 CCQ that we added just a minute ago. Now, just for the demo here... I'm going to simply use Telnet. So I'm going to choose Telnet right there, and then we'll just click Connect up in the top right-hand corner. And there you go. You can see that that message was successfully sent out. And it tells us that it's done right there below the Send and Receive. You also have options here if you just want to send mail or if you just want to receive. So sometimes that can be advantageous. Now, I do have the FT5 set up with the MobiLink, so let's see what happens if we try to make a connection to a local gateway. I believe this will go through. I haven't tested this connection, but uh, I think that I can get through with just a 19-inch whip antenna on top of the HT. So you can see that I've got everything set. 145.050 is my frequency. I've got the call sign and we'll be using 1200 packet. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect on that. It's looking for the TNC uh, device and once it finds it, it'll go ahead and try to make that connection. Once that connection finishes up, you can see that I've got a new message in my inbox. So there's the test message that we just sent out for this video. So there it is. There's the Radio Mail app. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you found it helpful. If you would, do me a favor. Leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.